Welcome to this video about changing the themes of our Blazor application. Uh, for this tutorial, I am going to use Bootstrap, but of course, you can also uh, write your own different uh, CSS themes. Uh, first, I go into the main layer component, uh, delete everything here. Now, I go to the Bootswatch website, uh, just choose one theme, go to the preview. Here, all the Bootstrap uh, components are showcased. So, I'm copying this markup. and pasting in, in here. I have to delete the script. Uh, just one more. So uh, now I have to go into startup. Here, make our controllers routable because I'm going to create a controller and I call it a style controller. Over this controller, uh, the user can set the cookie uh, which represents the chosen style. This controller only has one action. Call it change style. It expects a query parameter from query. Oh. String style, which represents chosen style. Response, cookies, append. I'm going to give the cookie the name of style and set the style in here. And I'm redirecting the user to the index page so that it makes a refresh, that it loads the, the desired CSS file. Now I go into the main layout. Again, in here, I have to give the user the option to, uh, to choose a style. Going to create a select. i giving the user four options. Uh, no, let's just stick with three. And one of these options is just a placeholder. Uh, choose your style. This option will be disabled. The attribute disabled. Here we can say the Minty theme. Then there is also the Solar theme. And here is just the default Blazor Bootstrap. Now, because we have quite some markup, I create the code block up in here. Create a fully implemented uh, property of type string, the backing field, lowercase style, and uh, here in the upper case. Now, whenever I'm changing this value, I want to make a GET request to the newly created uh, API, as a, to the newly created uh, controller that I've just done, so that we can set the cookie. Therefore, I have to inject the navigation manager. Call the navigate to method. Here I use the string interpolation, um, style, and here our query parameter. So question mark, style equals curly brackets. OK, yeah, the naming is not great, free time style. Uh, here it's also important to keep the, the Boolean of true, because only then it makes a reload. So only then the request actually comes from the browser. Uh, navigation manager could not be found. Ah, here. So now I have to bind it here. Bind to style. Event is on input. And I just style it a bit, clause, form, control. Now, we are uh, making the request to the action that sets our cookie, but nowhere in the application we are reading the cookie. And where are we going to read the cookie? We are going to do this in the uh, host file. So you see the file extension CSHTML, so it's a Razor page. That means that in here, we can use the Razor syntax. I'm going to delete the reference to the, the custom CSS file. I'm also going to delete uh, the error section here. So. 
Now, this is the default bootstrap theme. So this is going to display it when the user doesn't bring uh, a special cookie with him or with her. Now, I've told you about the Razor syntax. So if the request comes in and has a cookie, we've called it style, that equals to Minty, we want to link the, the Minty theme. Uh, therefore, I have to go back to the Bootswatch application uh, website and download the Minty theme. I can I download download it as the minified CSS version? And then I have also given the the solar one as a as an option. So I have to copy these two in the WW root folder. So uh, now the question is, yeah, which one of them is the Minty theme? I, I didn't pay attention, but I think you get the idea. Because it's a Razor page, we can filter. We can filter it based on the request, and that's the thing that you can't uh, can't do in, in Blazor WebAssembly because there, the index HTML, like the index HTML, is the equivalent of the whole CSS HTML. And because it's an HTML file, of course, you can't read the cookies of the request. So if it equals to solar, here we reference the solar file. And if the cookie doesn't match anything, we reference the default bootstrap file. Uh, let's have a look. So we are starting out with the default bootstrap file. Minty, okay, now I've messed it up. Minty, that's actually the solar uh, theme, but yeah, you get the idea. We can, uh, and that's the Minty theme, we can uh, come in here and uh, change the theme of the application. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.